How's it going YouTube? Mark from Like Minded Lunatics coming at you with your Friday night reaction video and I'm here with my good friend Todd Roth from Coming Up Muddy. Thank you for joining me, man. Glad to be here. So Todd and I have collaborated on several projects. He mm -hmm. is a blues musician here in the Austin kind of this area. We'll go with Hill Country these days. Okay, Hill Country. Yeah. Uh, his band Coming Up Muddy has an album out on Spotify. You're mm -hmm. on uh, iTunes. And iTunes. We've got a YouTube channel. Hell, you yep. can go here and click that. And yep. uh, go check his stuff out. We also worked on the Ballad of Cutman's Bridge together. Yes, we did. And uh, oh, I'm so happy to have you here. Glad to be here. This is a lot of fun. COVID's starting to end, so we can have guests now. So I said that I wanted Todd to come over and do a reaction with me. I would pick the song, and you pick the beer. Oh, you can't blame me for that shit. I'm totally blaming <laughs> you for it. So This I, was the description that I got. Okay. Pick some beers that would make you start a fist fight in a parking lot of a quick stop in Texas. Perfect. A pretty much verbatim quote, right? I think so. So yeah. should we reveal what I brought? Then? So let's do the no? song first. The song first? The song okay. first. So we're going with, and you've seen the, the title, you know what we're going with, but we're going with Clutch's A Quick Death in Texas. This is a great song and a hilarious video. And I've told you this before, this song kind of reminds me of the beer joints that I grew up in. Just kind of this dirty, down and dirty feeling, the, the, the guitar, it, it, it reminds me of all that. So I told Todd, Pick a beer that makes you want to get into a fist fight in a parking lot. Mm. And uh, and what'd you pick? Well, because nothing says fist fight in a parking lot like Bud Ice. Like Bud Ice. This is the first time, Todd, the first time that I have gone with a non-local Texas beer. Well, none of the local stuff makes you want to start a fight. <laughs> That's true. It makes you want to makes just, you want to drink another beer. Makes you want to drink a beer. That, you know. That's a good point. So, so this song, if for those of you who are not familiar with it, comes off of Clutch's 2015 Psychic Warfare album. If you've not gotten this, man, it's a great album. There's some great songs: X-ray Vision, Quick Death in Texas, Sucker for the Witch. I don't know if you've heard that one. It's a great song. Um, but I love this song. I love this band. So uh, it's tradition around here to have a beer with our Friday Night Reaction video. We're going to pop ours. I encourage you to pop yours. And let's cheers, Todd, to the end of a week and hopefully the beginning of a great weekend. And thanks for being here, man. Amen. Oh, that makes me angry. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is terrible, Todd. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let me bring up the Pay frame. cash money for that. Oh, my Ooh. God. Yeah, I feel like uh, whatever you paid. It, was, it tastes was... like regret. <laughs> it does taste like regret. <laughs> All right. 2015, a quick death in Texas. Clutch. Let's do it. First off, what do you think about that beginning? Uh, I think uh, that's a lot of tone out of that old pine box he's using for a guitar there. That's. <laughs> do you, are you disbelieving that's the, that that's the sound that that guitar makes? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying <laughs> Unlikely. I've got my doubts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guitar riff, though. That guitar riff. Oh, it's riff great riff. Beginning. Oh, it's Well, that's great. the thing. You know, Clutch, it's, it's, it's such riff heavy. I mean, those guys are just fantastic. But, you know. It's good. It's hell of a riff. Oh God! And this this first verse is so good. My nasty Yankee, man of business, didn't jive with the local traditions. How was I to know she had a jealous husband? Oh, that's a problem. It appears this is already a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and say, Todd, I'm placing blame on her. I think that the story as it unfolds, I feel like that she knows that this fella is a complete lunatic and uh, she lets poor Neil get into trouble. Well, that almost beard he has <laughs> is a little too well groomed for not actually being a beard. It like, kind of is. What is. What's he got going on there? I mean, it does look painted on. A little bit, like airbrushed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his makeup's better than hers. It so. is better than hers. His face is softer than hers, I feel this like. This is 1870s Metro <laughs> going on here. <laughs> he was the GM of the tractor supply. Now, I love this because growing up in the actual country, a lot of the guys who were the big rednecks, they didn't actually work on farms. I, I worked on a farm, heavy sure. metal guy. Those, those dickheads worked at Verizon. 
You know what I mean? The, or, okay, or the yeah, GM yeah. at a tractor supply store. Like the guys who were all into stuff, that <laughs> drove the big trucks, no, I'm actually doing anything with it. Sure, it was very shiny. Yes, yes. Well acquainted with the guns and knives. Sometimes I swear I have the sense in a bag of hammers. I bring for courage. Now, I was thinking, when I was watching this earlier, Todd, I was thinking, Bag of hammers. Less sense than Have you not heard me use that phrase before? I have, and, <laughs> and Dad uses it. Yeah. And so I was trying to think of some of the terms that they used. Can't find his uh, ass with both hands was one. And a map. Oh, I've never heard that. Never, no. Can't find his ass with a map. Both hands, a flashlight, and a map. <laughs> not heard that one. Uh, Dad likes dumb as a stump. Dumb as a stump was, was a go-to for me a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, after I, I got with, with Joe Lee, dumb as a bag of hair became a thing. Not heard that one. Well, that's a hairdresser one, you know. Makes sense. Uh, but dumb as a bag of hammers or a box of rocks, that's pretty common. Dad loved fence posts. I feel like Dad just like looked out posts. and saw what was out in the field. He's, he's dumb as yeah, that. Yeah, and he just put it there. You know? <laughs> he's dumb as that thing. Yeah, that thing. As long as it's an inanimate object. <laughs> that's right. Usually they took a beat of some sort. <laughs> right. That was abused. Hammer, nails, doorknob, post, yeah. fence. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I swear I am the sense in a bag of hammers. I pray for courage. I pray for love. I pray for guidance from the heavens above. I pray to know divine protections. But now I pray for quick death attacks. So I don't know if you know the story behind this. They, they recorded all this down at the machine shop in Dripping Springs. Okay. And when they were staying down there for when they were- when Is they that were, Willie's place? Is it? I don't know that part. That was what I was gonna ask you, was where, where was this shot? Because Willie's okay. got a, a so, restored village kind of deal. So they recorded this down in Dripping. This was actually filmed at Wild West City in New Jersey. So they, they were- So not Willie's place. Not Willie's. So they actually <laughs> recorded it here and Neil wrote the song here, and then when they filmed the video, they then did shot it. shot a cowboy video in New Jersey. In the Poconos. Well, you know. <laughs> what do you think of that? I think the concierge service is probably better in the Poconos than it is out at Willie's Place. It probably is. <laughs> now, the funny thing about this song is, uh, and you know what, folks? I'll go ahead and link to it, like, right up here. Uh, Neil talks about this in one of the videos on their channel, and apparently when they were when they were recording down in Dripping, uh, he had insisted that he wanted to stay in a, a, a really rustic location down in Dripping. And so the rest of the band stayed in a really nice place in town, and Neil Airbnb'd an old cabin in the middle of the hill country. And so he apparently said that he found out very quickly that he was a suburbanite Yankee kid very quickly <laughs> from being stuck out in the middle of nowhere. You know, because I'm kind of, I, you know, I, I'm vaguely familiar with that area between, you know, my former career and, and my current career and, and getting around. And I, I have to wonder where exactly he was, if he was back out towards Wimberley or if he'd gone towards. It sounded like he was down south somewhere from, okay. from Dripping. Okay. Um, and he said one night, the impetus for this song was one night he had he drove back and it was late from recording and he drives all the way down the lane he has to go through a canyon thing to get to the to the cabin sure. and he gets there and there was a Blair Witch style teepee built on his front porch and he was terrified and he said he stayed up all night holding a knife not knowing what he would do with the knife but holding a knife uh, and it turned out that the uh, the property owners, who said were really nice people, had built it for their grandchild who was going to stay after Neil left. Um, but he was terrified. And so this whole song <laughs> was based on him driving up and in the headlights seeing what looked to be a Blair Witch style thing on his, uh, on his front porch. I wonder what they actually were trying to build for their grandchild that came across to him he said as a Blair Witch teepee. He said teepee. So. Oh, it might have been a teepee. But it was probably just... It was probably the bones of one. So, you <laughs> know what right. I mean? The skeleton. Just the skeleton. It yeah. hadn't had the hide on it yet, so it probably looked I guess real that would Blair look Witchy. Spooky, I guess. If you weren't expecting it. Yeah, you yeah. drive up, what is happening? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who did, he, who did he 
say please forgive me? Mr. Gibbons? <laughs> That's what I thought he said. Had you not Carry heard on. That? No. Isn't that awesome? Carry on. That's great. So he said when they were writing this, he said that he told the boys in the studio, this feels like a Billy song. <laughs> and so when they did this, he had to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, Billy. <laughs> Look at that, look at this jackass. What's going on there? I don't know what this guy's doing. He's taking a picture in front of a dead guy. Early photo bomb. Doing one of these things. I don't know if I care for that gentleman. Now, what kind of whiskey has he got there? Bullet. Oh, God. All right, well, Todd didn't know that we were doing this. Todd didn't know this was happening. As soon as you said, what kind of whiskey does he have there, I knew where this was going. Todd didn't know this was happening. You know happening. damn well, good and well, what, bur what bourbon that I, was. I know, I, know, oh, I know what kind of bourbon it was. We're, we'll do a little one. All right. Folks, this is the first guest I've had. I feel like we had to do it, Todd. It's Fair in, enough. It's in the video. Yep. All right. Okay. Ready? We're going to be fist fighting later. That's right. Mueller ain't seen nothing yet. <sighs> it's not bad. I like Bullet. Uh, it's a good call brand. You know, I I'll give them that. You know, it's been a long time since I had Bullet. It's, it's not. It's, it's, not almost, it's almost a little better than I remember it. I like Bullet. Did that's you spike that with something good? I did not. That's why I All buy right. the big bottle of it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not advertising for them, but that's why I buy the big bottle. Fair enough. All right, let's get back to it. All right. Are we the doom saloon in an attempt to cauterize my wounds? I did a terrible job and they became powerfully effective. So I love that lyric. He went into the Doom Saloon to cauterize his wounds. He did a terrible job and got powerfully infect infected. What I like about that is it is it mental wounds or is it physical wounds? I like that lyric though, because it's it's ambiguous. Uh you know, but yeah, it is ambiguous. It could be both. You know, there's no reason to imagine that it's not because honestly, when you think about, um, well, the Western imagery that obviously they're going for yeah. in the video. And I, as a kid, I read a lot of Louis L'Amour and Western. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, Larry so, Mercury and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, and when you, um, they would use whiskey to, you know, to clean a wound and stuff like that. So. Highest alcohol content you might have on you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cleaner than the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I also like the verb there. If it's a mental wound, cauterizing mental wounds is an interesting That's image. A, it's a hell of an image. But I mean, <laughs> think about this. every time every time in your life that you said, oh, fuck it, I'm going to go get drunk. Right. Right. That's true. You're, You're trying to cauterize a mental wound. I just love that verb usage. That's that's great. That's, I love it. That's why I'm <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Folks, go check out Todd's stuff. I, I'll throw it up again. I'll throw it up again right here. Go go check it out. I found myself atop a stolen road. Quite convinced that I would never see home. And all on account of my lack of common manners. I pray for courage. I pray for love. Strap. <laughs> this is a man who has tied a lot of people to the back of bumpers and horses. That's a man that's seen some shit. That's the face of a man who has no feelings for you. Yeah. I feel like that is a that is a bad guy. And he could be a very lovely man. He could be. I, I shouldn't besmirch him, but I feel I do feel like that he He got cast in that role for that look. That's true. So so it would be doing him a disservice. To say, I'm to sure he's a wonderful person. <laughs> to not talk about how evil he looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you some more work, man. <laughs> now, in, in another interview, Neil said that they originally wanted to do a full draw and quartering, but they couldn't afford four horses. <laughs> so the budget only allowed them to do this one, this one poor roan, and that was yeah. it. these days i don't 
No. Can you Uber that? I don't see why you shouldn't be able to. I mean, it's Texas. We should be able to Uber horses. Show up with a dude and ride behind him. Yep. Did you ever do that at the fair? No, take the old old Tommy photo. Oh yeah, I think there's one of me out there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's a rite of passage if you go to fairs, county fairs. Yeah, well at a certain point you you stumble into one drunk. So for years and years, you know, I worked in in, in and around the Myrtle Beach area. Oh, so I feel like traps, there's a lot of stories. Yeah, there. there's a few uh, um there are some. Uh but you know, there's old timey photo booths up and down, you know, the tourist traps there. Uh, I don't think I ever had anyone done there. Um, I know my daughter did because I still have it. But I think I had an ex-girlfriend that we were in Brevard, North Carolina. Yeah. Up in the mount up around Pigeon Forge and all that. And same kind of deal. I think she and I had one done there. You do one there? Yeah. What always amazed me about these old timey photos is that there's all kinds of characters for the men. The women only have the can can girls. Yeah. I feel like that's the only only female character. What is happening? I don't know. It's you. That's very unprofessional. And I'm going to go ahead and say, it's because I have a guest and I was thrown off. You didn't turn your ringer off. I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> Did you forget? I blame it. The shiny, the shiny can. So in some way, it's your fault. That has got to be my favorite part of the song. Yeah. I love that part of the song. Uh, the hey, hey, and yeah. then the breakdown. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's cool. I pray for love. I pray for God. You ever done that before, Todd? Get shot? No, 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 not the shot part. For a quick death in Texas. Quick draw? Fan in the fan in a hammer. No, well, sure. You know, when you're kidding, you got a cap gun. Well, I now took I know 44. I'm actually surprised I don't have a scar. The, the first time I tried, so just so folks know in Texas, it's pretty much required that you get drunk and play with guns at some point. Right. Yeah. So the first time I tried. If you don't have a gun, one will be provided for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And it may not be in good working order. It may not be your gun. So the first time I tried it, I was going to do like the rawhide thing, come down and almost take a chunk out of the side of my hand nice. from, from hitting the, the hammer. Sure. The only time I ever did that. I feel like you would have to have gloves to make that work. Yeah, or a really sloppy hammer. <laughs> That's true. a really dangerous like gun. Like a wore out, like, oh. Drop it. Bang! Bang! Yeah, yeah, one of those. Super dangerous guns. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not going to work like they're showing it here, folks. Just so you know, don't try fanning the hammer. So, boots, fan the hammer. Yeah. Not a rope. No. Just I'm just suspension of disbelief. I mean, it is a music video, so we have to take a little grain of salt. You know, Are you unhappy with the video? No, I love this video. It's okay. great. Okay. The song makes the video, to be honest about it. Um, but the campiness, uh, it's, a, it's like a B-Western. It is. You know what I mean? I Sergio love Leone. Part. Yeah. Uh, not quite that It's gritty. not quite that good. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is like shot on VHS. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where Sergio Leone, that's... It's back that's to the future film. three cowboys. Oh, it could definitely... I'm telling you, I think this guy, the creepy looking one yeah. with the, the little soul patch action there. <laughs> soul patch. I got a sneaky suspicion that he works at this uh, Wild West show. Oh, that, yeah. So all the dudes here that are not the band, they work. They the work there. Yeah, they're yeah. the gunfighters. Yes. So you know he's got the fancy cap gun and she can fan. Yeah. You know it's set up for it. It's set up for fanning. Yeah, it makes sense because don't. So his is his nickname Dakota Fanning. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me regret having guessed. 
Probably. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. I'm so glad you're here. I'm not glad about the beer, though. Line is not linear. It is not. And that's something that I've seen in a lot of videos. I feel like, uh, you know, uh, there's no script supervisor. Continuity. Well, no continuity supervisor. Seeing continuity yeah. is just nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get him. Get that old man. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I like about this end part where they keep repeating Beaumont, yeah, really, uh, those are all cities that you would try to get out of Texas from. <laughs> like if you look at a map, it's Beaumont, Galveston, El Paso, Nacogdoches over into East Texas, sure. and then Abilene going up towards Lubbock. He's trying to get the hell out of Texas. Yeah, but he's picking the long ways to get there. Yeah, but you can't Good go by 35. They're expecting it. This is true. <laughs> no, and especially if you go through Austin, you won't make it. <laughs> That's true. He'll still be here. Ah, uh, yes. And they'll come up on their horses and just gun him right down. Right down. Yeah. Oh, and then we end on... <laughs> All the laughing. <laughs> we're, we're not going to do it again. What a great video! It is a great video. It was a lot of fun. Good. I, it was well, a lot of fun. This is my favorite video by Clutch. It's okay. not my favorite song. I think it's my favorite video though. Okay. Love it. Well, it's so much, it's, it's so campy and there's so much, um, I don't know it, the, the song itself is a lot, is a, it's a great song. It's a great riff. It's a great breakdown. Um, it's a lot of fun to listen to, especially living in Texas and then hearing some of the story behind how it was written and all that. And, and knowing these areas where they were traveling and hanging out, um, during the production of this of this album, uh, and then the irony of going to New Jersey to shoot a western. Well, and the other thing too, and this is something that you and I've talked a lot about, is just kind of that sound. You know, most of Clutch, they're from I think Maryland, and Neil is from Virginia. I think and, that's right. Yeah. And so they're, they're, I mean, they're not Southern guys, but the feel of that. Them Virginia guys will fight you on that. So will Maryland. They're kind of right on the edge with that stuff. That's true. The old South. Sure. I feel Deep like so. Right. Uh, I feel like Texas has its own thing. And yep. they just, boy, they capture it so well for me. I think um, latitude has a lot to do with your attitude. Sure. Sometimes. Um, and I've listened to artists that have recorded in LA and New York and, and Montreal and, and all over the globe, really. And then I've heard songs that were recorded by that same artist right out there in Pedernales at Willie's studio or, you know, here in Austin or in Wimberley, like Yellow Dog Studios or, you know, where these guys worked out in Dripping Springs. And there's, it's, it's something in the air. You just get, it, the environment kind of impacts you a little bit. I mean, just in, since I've been in Texas, my personal sound has changed. Um, so it does, it, it's all part of it. You have your own tone, you know, your own two hands and your own guitar ray and your own voice and your own vocals. And then when you get to Texas, it shifts. It shifts a little bit. That's interesting. Just, you know? a, just an environmental feeling. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. I mean, Lady Gaga singing with Lucas Nelson. There's, <laughs> that's a thing. And right. so when you start putting these things together, it changes and it, and it morphs a little bit. And, you know, Texas is a force of nature. That's true. For good or bad. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here for this one. Yeah, man. This is a great song, great video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Please go check out Coming Up Muddy on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Send Todd a, a couple of messages. Go buy his stuff. Buy music, folks. Come to a show. Come to a show. Waxed Come. and vaxxed and ready to stack. That's right. I, that's a great... <laughs> Come out and see them. <laughs> All right, folks, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you leave us some comments. Make sure that you leave them nice comments, though. Otherwise, I just ditch them. And take care of yourselves, <laughs> and we'll see you soon.
Bye. Bye.